G'day guys, we've got an introductory statistics question for you today where we have the heights in centimetres of players and two basketball squads are listed. So we have squad A and squad B. So we're asked to find the mean height for each squad, so that's the average, and the median height as well as the range for each squad, and we have to comment. Now the complicated one for us will probably be C, the comment on the results, just figuring out what we have to actually write. But if we understand how the formulas work for A and B, we shouldn't have a problem. So let's get right to it. So part A, we are asked to find the mean height for each squad. So basically to find the mean, that's usually written like this, an X with a dash over the top. And this is going to be for squad A. That's going to be equal to all of these numbers added together. So we have 150, Two plus 156 plus 163 plus 167 plus 172 plus 174 plus 176 plus 200 and then we have to divide that by the number of scores so we have one two three four five six seven eight divided by 8 and we get an average of 170 centimeters. Now it's important that we put our units on here guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to then find the average of B. So we've got X with a dash on top for B is equal to exactly the same method. We add all the numbers together 154 plus 170 plus 171 plus 171 plus 172 plus 173 plus 174 plus 175 and then we divide all that again by the same number of players 8 and we type that in and we get again 170 centimeters so it is um, we are able to get the same averages for two completely different sets of data and like that's basically what we're going to have to comment on at the end we're gonna to have to explain why so that's a under control B so find the median height and range for the heights for each squad. Okay, so let's just talk a little bit about median for a second. Now, the median is the middle height. Now, there are two different ways of figuring out the median and it depends on the number of numbers that we have or the number of data points that we have and whether the number of data points is even, like we have here, because we have eight, or if they're odd. So, if they're even, let's just say we've got an even number of data points. So we've got a data set that says like 2, 4, 9, 11. Now just remember guys, all of these have to be in order. So we have 2, 4, 9, 11. And for an odd data set, we have exactly the same numbers. 2, 4, 9, 11, 13. Cool. Now, the median score, guys, is going to be for, is the middle number. Now, we don't have an actual number which is in the middle here. If we chose four, we would have two numbers on this side and one on this side. And if we chose nine, it'd be exactly the opposite. So what we have to do, the middle is going to come in the top one from here, in between four and nine. So when we have an even number, we have to take the average of the two numbers which are on either side of what breaks this uh, data set in two. So here we'd have to go four plus nine on two, which is equal to 6.5. And what we can do is we'll go to the next one and we go, well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, five numbers. So what we can do is there will be a middle number. For example, well, not for example, this is our middle number because we have two on the lower end and two on the upper end. So this cuts it straight in half. So for this one, 
the median is just nine. There's no working out required. We just have to find the middle number. So median is based on position. It doesn't matter what the distribution of scores is. It's just which number is in the middle and write that number down. So let's have a look for our two data sets. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to be in between the fourth and the fifth number. So we have one, two, three, four. So for both data sets, the median should lie there. So what we're going to have to do is for squad A, let's just write it here. So we have squad A, the median is going to be halfway between 167 and 172. So we go 167 plus 172 on two. And that's equal to 169.5 centimetres. Again, guys, make sure our units are in there. And for squad B, we have halfway between 171 and 172. Now, although we don't have to really work this out, it's always good to put our working out down on the page. So this is going to be 171.5. Cool. So you can see that centimeters, you can see that this data set here, half of the numbers lie below this number and half of the numbers lie below this number for squad A. Cool. Okay, so we also have to work out the range for part B. So what we're going to do, the range for any data set, guys, is equal to just the maximum number, subtract the minimum number. So the range for these scores, let's put them in. We have, we have the range. of A is equal to 200, take 152, and that's going to be equal to 48, and the range of B is 175, take 154. Which is equal to 21. Cool. So now on to part C. So for part C, guys, what we're going to have to do is we just have to um, basically give a brief explanation that um, sort of summarizes all of the main points that we've got in A and B. So what we're going to have is in part C, where am I going to put it? So or I can just describe it to you guys. So the comment on the results, let's comment. So the first comment we're going to say is squad A has more short players than squad B because of the median for A being smaller than the median of B. So there are more short players in A than there are in B. Now, the next thing is the reason that we have the same mean, the reason that these two numbers are the same is because squad A has a lot of short players, but it also has uh, this guy, the 200 centimeter player. And as a result, he drags the mean up. So the median isn't affected by the actual value of the score, it's just the position. So if you've got lots of little scores, the median will be low. However, the mean takes into account the value of the score. So if you've got a really big number sitting out the outside your data set, that's going to shift your mean up or down, depending on whether it's a really, really big number or a really, really small number. So, you know, the two things that we're going to have to say here is we've got for squad A, so A has 
more short players. Than B. However, and the other thing we're going to have to say is um, you're going to say equal means because of. Two hundred centimeter player in A. So, because this two hundred centimeter player in A balances out all of the short players that are also in A, the means are exactly the same. So, those two things are basically what you'd have to write for the comment. And yeah, that's all she wrote, guys. So, what we've done here is we've just given you a introduction slash. I've just gone through a, you know, a basic problem that you might find in a test that is asking us to compare two different uh, data sets. We found the mean, we found the median, and we found the range. And after we did that, we then commented on the results. So I hope this video helped, guys. If it did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. But, you know, just keep practicing, 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 and I'll see you guys next time.